two quadrant zero voltage switching resonant converter. The ZVS concept can be extended to two quadrant class A chopper as shown in the figure. This is the figure of two quadrant ZVS converter where the capacitor C plus equals to C minus which equals to C bar 2. The inductor L has is such a value so that it forms a resonant circuit. The resonant frequency F0 is equals to 1 by 2 pi of square root of LC and it is much larger than the switching frequency of FS. Assuming the filter capacitance CE to be large, load is replaced by a DC voltage VDC to make the circuit simple. Now here yeah, the load is replaced with VDC to make it a simplified circuit. The circuit operation can be divided into six modes. Mode one, when the switch S plus is on, then the equivalent circuit is given by. Assuming that the initial current is IL naught, then the inductor current IL is given by IL equals to VS divided by L at time t, let it be question number one. And this mode ends when the voltage on the capacitor C plus is a zero and S plus is off. The voltage on C minus at the end is Vs. Now, mode two, when S plus, S minus, both the switches are off. Then the equivalent circuit is given by And the mode 2 begins with C plus is having a zero voltage and C minus is having the voltage Vs. The equivalent circuit of mode 2 is simplified to a resonant circuit of C and L with initial inductor current I L1. Then I L is approximately represented by Vs minus Vdc square root of L by C sin omega naught t plus i l1 let be equation number two now the voltage v naught can be approximated to fall linearly from vs to zero that is v naught equals to vs minus vs c divided by i l1 of t let it be three this mode ends when v naught becomes zero and the diode d minus is turned on mode 3 mode 3 starts when d minus diode turns on the equivalent circuit for the mode 3 the inductor current il is going to fall linearly from i l2 which equals to the i l1 that equals to zero mode 4 when switch S minus is turned on. The equivalent circuit is given by the switch S minus is turned on IL and V naught becomes zero. And IL continues to fall in negative direction to IL4 until the switch voltage becomes zero and S is turned off. Mode 5. When switch S plus and S minus both are off, the equivalent circuit is given by this mode begins with C minus is at zero, C plus is at Vs, and it's similar to mode two. Then the approximated equivalent circuit is given by. And it is similar to the mode 2. The voltage V0 can be approximated to rise linearly from 0 to Vs. This mode ends when V0 tends to become more than Vs and the diode D plus turns on. Mode 6 when D plus is on and the equivalent circuit. In mode 6, IL falls linearly from 
IL phi to 0. This mode ends when IL becomes equals to 0 and S plus is turned on and the cycle repeated. Then from 6 to we will go to 1. Now let us draw the other forms. VL equals to VS in the mode 1. In mode 2, it will reach to a 0 value and it stays at a 0 in 3 and 4. And in 5, it starts increasing and reaches Vs and stays at Vs in mode 6. And in the next cycle, it will be starting from Vs again. This is the voltage Vl, which is nothing but inductor voltage. Now, the current. The current is going to rise from 0 to IL1 in mode 1. And in mode 2, it reaches max and comes back to IL1. And in mode 3, it reaches to 0. And in mode 4, goes to a negative value. And mode 5, still increased and decreased back. And in mode 6, reaches to 0. And this cycle is going to repeat after mode 6. This is the current through the inductor IL. For zero voltage switching, IL must flow in either direction so that a diode conducts before it switch is turned on. The output voltage can be made almost a square wave by choosing the resonant frequency F0 much larger than the switching frequency Fs. The output voltage can be regulated by frequency control. The switch voltage is clamped to only Vs. However, the switches have to carry IL which has high ripples and a higher peak than the load current I0. The converter can be operated under the current regulated mode to obtain the desired waveform of IL. And in mode 1, the S plus is on. In mode 2, S plus and S minus both are off. In mode 3, D negative is on. Mode 4, S minus is on. Mode 5, S plus and S minus both are off. And D6, it's D plus is on. Now you can replace the S term with the thyristor if the switch is a thyristor. The two quadrant JBS converter circuit can be extended to a single phase half bridge inverter as shown here. And a three phase version as shown here, where the load inductance L constitutes the resonant circuit. One ohm of the three phase circuit in which a separate resonant inductor is used is as shown in this figure. This is regarding two quadrant zero voltage switching resonant converter. If this video is useful, please like, share, and subscribe.